Hi there, this is Beth Waller with Team Waller Real Estate, the broker owner of that wonderful, fine team of realtors. I had my very first broker uh, training class yesterday, sponsored by the Blue Ridge Association of Realtors, and we had the counsel from the Virginia Association of Realtors speak, and it was some very thought-provoking uh, discussions that we had, and it made me even more thankful that Team Waller does not practice dual agency. In fact, yesterday I raised my hand and I said, this is a perfect example of why dual agency should be illegal. Let me tell you about the situation that was discussed yesterday. There was a situation when a listing agent got a call to sell her own property, right? Somebody saw their, their sign, wanted to come in and take a look, and wanted to buy the house, which is perfect, right? A seller lists their house, and then a buyer wants to buy it. Well, the buyer didn't have a realtor, and so the listing agent represented the buyer, and both the seller and the buyer agreed that it was okay to have one agent, the listing agent, be a dual agent. So when you're a dual agent, you represent kind of both parties equally. Every, everything has to be neutral. You can't favor one party versus another. At Team Waller, we don't practice dual agency. And um, this is a prime example as to why. So the, the, the agent who's working for the buyer and the seller found out that the buyer was a convicted um, assaulter and on the national registry. And the seller was selling property of the, that belonged to the parents and they lived next door. So here we have a seller selling the parents' property. They live next door with small children. The agent found out that her buyer, that she's also representing, was a convicted um, assaulter on the registry. Guess what? According to uh, Virginia real estate law that says you must maintain confidentiality and protect all clients equally, that's not something that has to be disclosed. And she would have been hurting her buyer to disclose it to the seller. So she didn't disclose it. Can you even imagine that? That's what dual agents are put into that position. They know something that they can't tell the other party that might hurt the other party. Of course, if it's a material adverse um, defect of the home, et cetera, there, there's certainly protections there. But a situation like that, that's such a fine line, um, and it's not a required disclosure because buyers and sellers can do their due diligence and determine these things themselves. That agent knew this and had to sleep at night knowing that she could not disclose that to the seller. So it's one of those judgment calls, who knows if it went to court and, and they found out how, how it would hold up. But that's one of those crazy situations that dual agents are put in that I just don't believe buyers and sellers deserve that. Yes, as a dual agent, you're compensated very well because you're having both sides of the transaction, but you're really doing what I believe half the work because you really need to have protection for both sides of the transaction. Everyone needs their own realtor. So if you want an agency that does not engage in dual agency, contact Team Waller Real Estate. We have designated agents that represent each party, and we will work hard on your behalf. Thanks for listening.